How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be doing a reaction to The Christ is Born by the Carpenter. So, if you haven't done so, please smash the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and let's get started. Christ is Born uh, on The Carpenter's Christmas Portrait Album, which was released in October 13th of 1978. Uh, so, the writer for this is... where is it again? Where is it again? Charles Bartolucci? Charles Bartolucci. So, without further ado, let's get started. stuff number one i really like that last note that she sang where, kind of, where she hits that note and everyone pulls back so it's just her i really like that effect especially when it's used for like like brass like if it's a trumpet player or the string instruments do it, it's a really good effect for oh definitely for singers when they do high notes i love that it's such a nice effect because number one i kind of see it coming but number two it's just so it, it's exposed you know as a so i I mean, I was never a singer, but as an instrumentalist, when it's only you playing and you're kind of let out there and you're the only one, everyone's just kind of looking at you or feels that, oh, yeah, that's, it's Jay. Jay's playing that note. It's a, it's a huge high because, you know, once you hit that spot, you just have to, like, lock right into that note. And, you know, in that situation, of course, it's Karen Carpenter. She's going to lock to that note perfectly. Number two, uh, something I noticed right off the bat is the arrangement itself, you know, I like the utilization of the company of the choir. Uh, it makes it sound very uh, religious, very, the, the choir makes it sound very church-like, uh, in my opinion. And if you listen throughout the whole song, 
they don't really take a very commanding part. It's it's not a conversation. I feel they're they're definitely subdued in the background, and I, and I like that. I like that how how it's used that way. Number three, uh, if you notice at the very beginning, there's not much accompaniment at all, and it gives Karen Carpenter a chance to really hold out those. Uh, they're not even really long notes, you know, maybe like a couple beats. Um, but she just used vibrato on like every single one of those notes, and and the way she uses vibrato is is actually the only way I like it. I actually hate vibrato, but she kind of attacks. And then she kind of sneaks that vibrato in uh, after she attacks. I don't, I don't know. I just, for the most part, I don't like vibrato. She, she attacks and she kind of slowly sneaks it in. It's kind of, you feel you feel the wavelength the most near the end. And that's kind of how I'd like to do it if I were to ever do it, to be quite honest. Uh, but yeah, beautiful arrangement. Sounds great. I'm impartial to Karen Carpenter. It's amazing. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't done so, please like, subscribe, comment. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you in the next one.